Hello, my name is Emily Caterina Ladino Gonzalez. I am 20 years old. I am a student of the Open and Distance University UNAD. I am a student of the bachelor's program in an English is a foreign language. I am my ninth semester and this is a video about my experience in a pedagogical experience one. My practice is the school uh, at the Imperial English Bilingual School, which is a private school. My immersion was virtual science due to the situation that due to the COVID, I could not put my family and school at risk. It offered two methods, face-to-face -face and virtual. Let's start. With my first impression was when visiting the school, it was almost until I got lots of fears. The organization is awesome, and the workers are very charismatic. I was waiting a wheel for my observation class. When they start, I had a lot of nerves. And to say I, I am somewhat she, somewhat she takes these classes helping me to be a little more relaxed. I have better, a better experience. And a perspective um, and a perspective of why my future will be my professor was Harold, Harold Parra, Parra Silva, a very kind and uh, dedicated teacher with his students. For, uh, when he learning how to attract the attention of the students when they beginning to get distracted, which used to um, used to happen a lot in the afternoon. I also know that he was a student from the University of Amazon in Kakita. The first class where I became a jersey to be such as uh, the continuous and simple present present or the simple past who we also had Hackings where the children were distracted, but were faithful while the, they learning into practice. And in, and in which I always participated, science is never too late to have the small reviews and die the experience much more fun. And I could practice with the children. Little by little, I began to notice that many of the children, especially in sixth and seventh grade, um, if I didn't speak in English, I began noticing that it, I it was because they did not feel comfortable with the language and they they were quite brown, but still some things they do read. For another, on the other hand, I began to learn the text the testes of some of the boys and uh, and uh, adult they are happy friends. They are very collaborative with each other. I had an interview with Professor Harold during my second or third week of immersion where he asked me questions such I wish I was a student in English well, I tell about virtual class. Uh, which which one do you think is better? As a virtual student, I tell him that even tell the virtual classes are very useful, especially uh, because you organize your time and manage to balance it. Um, learning comes your own work, your student in your own. You prepare yourself even tell the uh, university curious class well cannot always be in them that uh, I a certain way we learn more especially by exploring more in the use of this uh, is ECTs and new ways of the teaching that could serve us in the future I can say I can say that we I just experienced I could have a better idea about uh, how to continue with my learning which to, to use and how to apply them. I am very grateful to the Imperial for the experience they can my 
they gave me and the excellent groups and the teacher that touched me. Okay, um, next we will have Professor Harold answering some questions that I will ask him about this experience. One question, what do you hope practice seniors will achieve teacher with the tie of practice? I could say that this is a great way for practitioners to identify different situations present in classes such as the behavior of the students, the level of English, the way students participate and make an effort to improve in every single class. Also, this is a way for practitioners to get positive aspects for their future job. Second question. What recommendation could you give it to the young people who are beginning their practice? I would suggest students to write details about the development of each class. They can take the positive aspects and avoid the negative ones. This is a way for them to enhance in their future in their professional field and to not make the same mistakes in the future teaching process. To your questions, what recommendations do you did you give your students to improve their level of English? There are many ways to improve the English level. Some of them are reading a lot of academic writings, news, and informal text. It would help students to get new, advanced, and common vocabulary for their speeches. Also, students can take advantage of videos, programs, audios, conversations in English. This is an excellent way to develop the listening skill, which is too difficult for learners when they are studying. And for a question, what could you tell, tell us about your practice and the young people who enter them? Teaching is a difficult process. It is not easy for all the people because you have to prepare yourself in order to explain different topics from different subjects. In my case, at the school is bilingual. I have to teach science and history. I sometimes uh, get confused because it is hard to, to explain different topics when, when you are not an expert. So I have to read a lot of information to understand what I have to teach. I would like to suggest students from the university to read a lot about different topics. It would be helpful for them when they start the teaching process in different school. Okay? You have to study hard and you can see your advance in the different fields and you can see your advance in your English level. That will be. Uh, thank you very much for your time, Teacher Harold. And that will be all for this video. Until next next time, and happy afternoon. Goodbye.